let's talk about how to evaluate angles on the unit circle. I've got an, a unit circle here to the left of your screen, and then I've got some problems on the right. Let's work through these and then try to get you feeling better about this. Before we do, though, let's remember what we talked about in class, that the sine of an angle on the unit circle can be found by using the y-coordinate at that angle, the cosine by finding or using the x, and the tangent by using y divided by x. And then you can build the other three reciprocal ratios by flipping those as we would when we did the right triangle questions. So the cosecant is 1 over y, the secant 1 over x, and the cotangent x over y. So there are the ways to use the coordinates from the unit circle to evaluate these particular angles. Now, if you just have a sine or a cosine, that's fun, that's easy, that's great because they're quick. So if you would look at your unit circle at 45 degrees and you will see the y-coordinate, that is what the sine of 45 degrees is. It's just the square root of 2 over 2. Your answer is that y-coordinate, the square root of 2 over 2. Then let's look at the next one. Okay, this is the cosine of negative 30 degrees. Now remember on the unit circle, angles generated from that x-axis in a counterclockwise motion are positive. So negative 30 degrees in a clockwise motion would put you at 330. Also, you could determine what's the coterminal angle by adding 360 to negative 30. That's the same thing. But for now, we'll use 330. So that's the x-coordinate that we're looking for, and that is the square root of 3 over 2. Sine and cosine are straightforward. It's the x-coordinate, it's the y-coordinate, and then you're finished. When it comes to all these other ratios, you do need to take maybe a few more seconds to figure out what they need you to do to make them simplified, though. So on 135, we see that we use the x and the y coordinates. The y coordinate is going to be on the top of your fraction. So at 135, we've got the square root of 2 over 2, that's y, divided by a negative square root of 2 over 2. In class, we did talk about how to divide two fractions. You want to keep, change, flip, that little saying usually remember, uh, you remember well. So keep the first fraction, change division to times, and then flip the second. Now there's some interesting things that happen here, and this is something you remember from Algebra 2 probably when you were multiplying rational expressions. These can be canceled and so can these because they were dividing out really to make a 1. But remember, there's still a negative here, and if everything cancels, the answer is 1. But since one of those fractions is a negative, the entire answer is a negative 1. All right, let's move on to cosecant. In terms of a math book, what it would tell you probably is it would say, take the y-coordinate and do 1 divided by that. So let's find that first. 300, the y-coordinate is square root 3 over 2. It's a negative. So 1 divided by negative square root 3 over 2. This is another one of those problems you could do a keep change flip on, but I'll tell you what's going to happen. If you keep change flip, you're going to end up with this. All right, now what I want you to do is look back at that y coordinate at 300. It's the square root of 3 over 2. Now remember back to the right triangle problems we did. If we found a sine ratio to get the cosecant ratio, we just flipped it. So isn't this essentially the same thing as just flipping that square root of 3 over 2? It is. So if you would like to do that way, that's another option. But we do want to clean this up and rationalize because we can't leave that answer for the square root on the bottom. When you do that, that will be 2 square root of 3 over 3. And since we had a negative on one of those, we need a negative on our answer. Secant of 210. All right, so now, again, you could go to 210 and find the x-coordinate and do 1 divided by that. But I'll tell you what's going to happen is when you get to that x-coordinate, 
and you do one divided by that, it's just going to turn into the same thing as flipping the x coordinate from the unit circle. So it's again going to be that 2 over the square root of 3. And it again is a negative because we're on 210 now and the x coordinate's negative over in that quadrant. So if you rationalize this again, it will be the same answer actually as the one before. All right, so what I did here, just to remind you, I looked at the cosine of 210 and then flipped it. All right, that's how I got that one. I think that's easier than one divided by the coordinate, just personally. All right, last one, cosine 240. So, excuse me, cotangent. So we need to do x divided by y. So let's find those coordinates. So we're doing negative 1 half divided by negative square root 3 over 2. One thing that I will do when I'm doing fractions like this, if both of these are negative, negative divided by negative is a positive anyway, so let's just go ahead and get rid of those. Then do a little keep, change, flip. So keep, change, flip, and now simplify. You're going to be able to cross out these twos, and we're left with 1 over the square root of 3, then rationalize that. And we're left with square root of 3 over 3. I hope this helps. If you need any more help, let me know.